Hey guys, this is MacHeads101, and today I'm going to make a video on how to jailbreak iPhone 2.1. Now, if you jailbreak iPhone um, iPhone firmware 2.1, you're going to have three installers. One called installer, which is an installer that you got on one point whatever. One's called Cydia, which is what you had on 2.0 something. And one's called App Store, which is the Apple installer. So, first off, you're going to want to... Um, Upgrades to 2.0 straight through iTunes. Do nothing special. You have to upgrade to to, to wait. I mean 2.1 because otherwise it will not work. So I already have 2.1, but I'm just going to show you what to do. You go into your phone. You're going to hit check for update. I'm going to say mine's the current version, but you, if yours is going to say um blah blah blah, and then click download. So I'm going to hit quit. Next, there's two ways to do it. There's some program you're going to need, and it's called QuickPone. You can also do it, do it with Pwnage Tool, but um, some people have told me they had problems doing it with Pwnage Tool, so I'm going to be doing it with QuickPone. So I'll have a um, Yeah, and I'm going to try putting a link in the description, but sometimes I can't find a link to download it. So there we go. Just select whatever you are, iPhone 3G. Works on... Um, the iPod Touch as well as the old iPhone too. So, yeah. So just wait for that. It'll do the firmware automatically. It's gonna ask you if you want to replace the um, Apple sign and the um, recovery logo with the pineapple in the picture of Steve Jobs. I'm gonna hit no because I like those. Now it's gonna build an IPSW. Also, note your phone might do like act a little funky during this. Like show the Apple sign, say connect to iTunes. Just ignore that completely because that's normal and just ignore it. So right now it's building the IPSW. It might ask for your password. It probably will ask for your password. So um, just let me type that in. Okay, hold on. Okay. Now it should be about finished, this part, and it's going to ask you. You're going to have to do this very carefully, and nothing is going to appear on the screen because Apple... So there's going to be no way to know if you're doing it correctly or not. It's just going to have an error on your screen, like so, like on the screen of your computer, not on your phone. So it's turn off the device. So you're going to hold the power button. Wait, hold this. This part, it doesn't really matter. All you have to do is turn it off. I'll get close so you can see. Now, as soon as it's off, it's going to give you other instructions, so prepare. Don't hold it. It says prepare to hold it. Okay, now hold both for 10 seconds. Now just release the top one. Keep holding this one. Don't let go of the bottom one at all. Now, if you do it correctly, this should ha this should happen on the screen, and the screen of your phone should go white, and then it'll either show a pineapple or the apple sign while it does the rest of the work. No, the installer probably um isn't not is not going to have many applications, and Cydia doesn't have that much either, because they are both new, and so there aren't that many um programs for. I know Cydia has like maybe one thousand. Uh, probably less than that, and um, when I checked, installer only had five, and after I downloaded compu community sources, which get, basically means you can have programs around anyone instead, instead of just the people that makes it, I got like maybe uh, maybe like 25, but that's just because this, this is brand new, it just came out, so um, that should keep you up to date on that, and there we go. Another great thing about those is um, you can do videotaping, background, put on, putting on a background image. I know that Apple doesn't approve of others. And um, I'm pretty sure that um, soon you'll be able to copy and paste if you jailbreak it. Also, if you have any problems doing this, I don't know why you should because normally you can just restore it. Um, if you have any problems doing this, just bring it to the Apple Store and if they ask you if you jailbreak it, say no. Okay? That's another reason why I don't like the pineapple. I don't, cause it's proof that you jailbroke it, and you, and then the thing is gone. Okay, so now on your phone, it'll say it'll say um, 
By the way, that message said, don't do anything till your phone has restart by itself. So your phone should have the Apple sign. You don't press anything. And then if you wait a little, it'll say it'll show you that it's loading. There we go. So as you can see, it's loading. So uh yeah, this is a nice image. It's taking off the hard drive image of the um Mac and they just digitally edit it to make it glow and put an arrow on it. I'm pretty sure it's the same arrows on the installer. Sorry for shaking, it's kind of hard to keep it still, like in the air. By the way, your phone might vibrate when it turns on. Um, just, that's normal. Like, uh, at first I didn't know that, but it's going to vibrate when it turns on. That kind of, like, scared me the first time. But, yeah. So, um... Pretty interesting. It's a loading bar. By the way, if you have any requests for um, any videos, um, just like feel free to request them. Um, like, I, but there's three of us, as you probably know. We mentioned in a lot of our videos. Um, there's me, I'm John. I do most of our videos on the iPhone. I also do um, tutorials on um, Adobe Flash and um, and Photoshop. I am pretty sure that's all I have so far. Alex does our videos mostly on Terminal. And um, I know right now he's uploading um, two tutorials on how to use, um, what's it called? How to use Google SketchUp, a nice tool for drawing 3D application, 3D designs. And um, see right now it's vibrating, it's restarting. And um, Garrett does our videos on how to um, how to do use Xcode. And um, also he yeah he, he showed you how to make a web browser, and he showed you about our website and our email. Also, um, we're gonna be getting John. We're gonna be getting MacHeads101.com. Um, we're gonna be using the Apple Apple hosting service. I had trouble setting that up at first because um, um, the, my provider that I wished to use was not very clear about that. How to how to set it up? So I ended up having to do something else, like use another provider. So, um, sorry that you had to deal with dot uh, webs, but yeah, Mac Edge 101 should be up shortly. Okay, so um, as you can see, all my settings are saved because um, I kept my factory settings, not my factory. Um, before I restored it, I made um, I kept the settings. Uh, there are your three things: um, App Store, Cydia, Installer. If you have any questions, just ask. And by the way, if you want to set a background, um, a, an image as your background, or you can also set a video as your background, download this thing. It's called Winterboard. You have to get it off the Cydia application. And um, basically, it lets you make your image. That's this image. Hold on, it can't be charging. This image, the one for slides unlock, that's also going to be your, your wallpaper. So thank you very much. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.